I'm Nick, a real Starbucks barista, and today I'll be showing you how to take your weekend coffee at home to the next level using premium Starbucks coffee and fresh ingredients from your local grocery store. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make a caramel macchiato. Now, this is a great beverage to make at home. It's quick, it's easy, and it really impresses company because it's visually appealing. We have a few ingredients to help us today making the caramel macchiato, and it's gonna start with the espresso roast. This is the same core espresso roast that we use in all of our stores, and it's the heart of all coffee creations that come out. A couple other ingredients that we have today is a simple vanilla syrup, a caramel drizzle for the topping, a few utensils, such as a whisk to froth the milk, a measuring spoon for the vanilla, a measuring spoon for the coffee, something we call a mocha pot to make espresso, a measuring cup, a stove top, a saucepan, and a kettle to boil the water. First, we're gonna start with the actual mocha pot. So we wanna boil the hot water and add it to the lower chamber. So we're gonna get roughly four tablespoons, two heaping scoops going on. Once we're done that, we can screw back on the top chamber. So you can put it right on the burner and set it to a low to medium heat. Once that's done, we can let it sit. And as it's sitting, you just wanna keep your ear open for a light gurgling or bubbling noise because as you hear that noise, that's actually the espresso finishing. To start the beverage, I'm gonna start the exact same way that we do in store. We have our simple vanilla syrup. Now I made this by simply combining equal parts water and sugar with a little bit of vanilla extract. We have two tablespoons of this going in the cup first. We're gonna grab our whisk here and set your stove to a medium heat. And you're just gonna give it a nice and vigorous stir. Now I've already done this just to make it a little bit faster for us. We're gonna actually add the milk to the cup, leaving just a little bit of room for espresso. You need about two ounces of espresso, as I mentioned before. And we're gonna pour that just on top. We're gonna grab our caramel syrup and do what we call at Starbucks, the cross hatch, which is four horizontally and four vertically, followed by two circles around the actual glass. And don't worry if it's not perfect, it's your own caramel macchiato, so make it how you like. Why don't we go ahead and take a sip? Mmm. Awesome coffee creation with fantastic flavors of vanilla and caramel. But of course, you guys can switch that out with any kind of syrups or any kind of milks and truly experiment with your own drink of coffee. Make it your own.